my trending topics come up. Guess what I'm doing right here? Generating energy while having a lot of fun. This equipment is produced by a Bulgarian company called Playground Energy that also makes equipment for children playground. So today we are visiting to ask them what is the goal of that equipment at all? We are motivating kids to play more. That's with one sentence what we do. We motivate kids to play more by uh, giving them new and exciting experiences on a playground. And uh, by that we motivate them to be physically active, to learn more and to entertain themselves more. We are actually producing playground equipment which is installed on our public playgrounds, which is producing uh, from kinetic energy spent by kids on the playground, is producing electricity and we use this electricity for uh, lights, sounds, music, wireless connection to fountains, different entertainment for them there. So kids' energy is used only for kids' fun and health and benefits. Who is the customer actually? Are those the municipalities? Are those uh, like private? Households or what is no, it? No, uh, what's interesting in our business is that our users are not the, our customers. And um, uh, our users are families and uh, ch children and kids. But uh, uh, our customers are usually municipalities uh, and eventually private schools or private playgrounds uh, and private uh, kindergartens. Uh, we are at the moment not selling to the households. We are concentrated on the public spaces. We, we think that this is the most efficient way to reach as many as possible uh, uh, of our users. By selling only one of our devices, actually, we could reach 1,000 kids. But if we sell it to one family, one, then it will be eventually two or three kids. So our idea is to be initially to be on the play, public spaces public playgrounds. Recently you've added a Google Maps layer to that. Can you yes. elaborate a bit more on that? We don't want to ask kids to work out on a playground. We want they to play and in order to be easy for them to play, we don't collect a lot of energy. We recently managed to use this energy also for reporting data of the activities on the playground. So now we are able to have a Google map with the playgrounds with our equipment where you could see on which playground how much energy had been produced and we could organize competition between playgrounds uh, in di different cities, countries or even continents so that uh, you could see which is the most active playground this week or this month or this year or forever. Speaking of all over the world, where are your markets? Our main market, our biggest market is Europe. But we are selling actually to five continents, North America, South America, Australia, Asia and 25 countries in the world. Do you sell like whole sets of items? Once we start selling the whole sets, then we might enter into competition with our distributors. Our distributors are other companies which are selling playground mm -hmm. equipment. And we don't want to compete with our distributors. What we offer to them is unique product, which they don't have, nobody actually have, which is... Uh, as an extra, as a bonus on the top of their, let's say, normal playgrounds. So uh, once we start selling everything on the playground, first it is, it is complicated to produce everything on the playground, and then we start competing with them and they are less motivated to work with us. So our idea is for the moment to have, uh, we call it cherry on the uh, cake. Cake is from 
coming from them, we provide the cherry on the top of it. That's our idea. Cool. When you started, there was no other company on this market. You actually established the market. Do you have any competitors already? Yes, we have four other companies which are kind of competitors. Some of them, generally what is common between us and them is we are dealing with energy on the playground. Some of them are using uh, energy from the grid. So they actually they have very complicated installation process and very expensive maintenance and so on. What is specific for our product is that we don't need any external energy. All of our products are inside in the body of our play equipment. It doesn't need any extra batteries or cables or anything else. We are in fact developing now a product line which is aimed towards kids with disabilities. It is not that it just entertains kids with a disability, but it also will report data for, from their daily activities. The, the devices will be designed so that they make cert, kids have to make certain exercises which are useful for their illnesses. And then Data from these exercises will be reported to the doctors directly. So when kids go to the uh, next visit to the doctor, next month, for example, doctor will not only examine them, but also will have a data of their daily exercises on the playground. What's the, the bigger vision, let's say so? Where do you imagine playground energy in five years? For this year, our goal is to become uh, on a break even, so to, to be self-sustained. And in order to reach that, we mostly, if not only, need turnover. So we are working very hard to increase the sales and uh, the rest is almost okay. The production, the costs, the other things are. On, on the right track. We believe that we could become a um, leading technology and innovation provider for our industry all over the world. It's very ambitious, but let, let's say it. I mean, uh, now very often on your computer you could see a sticker saying Intel Inside. So we hope after a few years that you will be happy to see uh, stickers where, on the playground where they say playground energy inside. So we would like to provide the whole industry, playground industry, with the technologies and innovation coming from us. Awesome.